Hi guys, today I wanted to talk about um, the paddock uh, dimensions and the way that your paddocks are set up um, when you're grazing cattle or sheep or goats or any type of herbivore like that. The, the shape and size of your paddock makes a lot of a, of a difference um, depending on what your goals are and the way that you have your animals enter the paddocks can also have a huge effect on what you're going to what kind of results you're going to get um, either via or either on your sheep let's say or um, or the grass so I've drawn a few little diagrams here so if your goal is to maximize the forage that your animals are going to eat in a paddock um, first of all a more a, a paddock that is more square would be ideal for forage efficiency However, I have drawn on this diagram here a paddock that is a rectangular. Rectangular. So, uh, let me explain this to you. If your goal is to eat more forage, okay, if your goal is to eat more forage, as you can see up here, then your paddock is a more of a square shape, and all these little dots in here are the cattle or sheep, okay? And all the dotted lines that are going horizontally across the page that is my symbol for a poly wire poly braid okay so that's your electric fence um, so what you're gonna do is when your cattle and sheep are in a paddock like this if you wanna maximize forage utilization you just move your poly wire down like this down like this so the animals are, sh are spread out over a wider distance which means they can just they can just move down and graze okay so they're not going to be trampling that much grass because they have such a wide area to move down to new forage okay so this entire line right here let's say that's 150 feet that's 150 feet that let's say your 200 head of cattle can then graze alright so they're the downward the direction that your cattle or sheep are gonna go is downward okay so you're, you are giving them long, narrow strips, but the way in which you're moving them is the key difference, okay? So, to explain that a little bit better, let's go over here to this page, which the goal is to trample as much grass onto the ground. Now, we want to trample grass onto the ground to feed the soil life and to keep the soil covered. This is how you build organic matter in your soils. So, if that is our goal, the cattle are going to enter the paddock in this direction, okay? So before, in the last paper, they were coming down. Now cattle are going to enter in this direction here. So, if you've been around cattle or sheep before, uh, you'll know that they like to explore their new area before they start feeding, right? So what they're going to do is they're going to walk all the way down here, they're going to walk all the way down here, and then they're going to walk back down here, and then they're going to see what their boundaries are, and then they're going to start feeding, okay? Now, so for the next paddock move, you might want to go down here and move them in that way again. So they're going to be trampling a lot of this grass because they're not going to be able to utilize it because it's been trampled, and cattle and sheep generally will not eat grass that has been fouled and trampled. So the direction that they're moving is more of a horizontal direction. And again, that comes down to how the cattle enter the paddock, entering this way. So as you can see on this one, there's not going to be this side to side motion. It's going to be more of a, a downward motion on this piece of paper. It's going to be a downward motion. So which means they're going to be trampling less grass and utilizing more of the forage, okay? Now, one thing you do need to be careful of when you do do a paddock, um, your paddock shifts in this fashion, because they're going to be trampling so much, if that is your goal, you'll probably be needing to move your cattle more frequently so they become, so, you know, so they're full and satisfied. You can get into a lot of trouble if you're not monitoring the animal for animal performance and if you do not know how to monitor the animal for animal performance please search on on the blog on my blog gut fill 
G-U-T space F-I-L-L. Search for gut fill, and there I gave a detailed explanation on how to monitor for animal performance. However, you can get the best of both worlds by using this goal of trampling and having your cattle enter from here or enter the paddock from here by moving them more frequently. Okay, because they're going to be trampling so much of this grass on the ground, right? They're going to be trampling so much of this grass on the ground, so you need to move them more because they're not utilizing the feed as efficiently as they would on a situation like this, right? So that's my explanation of uh, paddock dimensions and the way you go about entering and leaving paddocks and how that can make a difference when it comes to feed utilization or trampling littered onto the ground. Thanks.